your hearts for Easter. Okay, Easter is coming. And as you prepare yourself for Easter, study the life of Jesus. You know, read through a gospel. One of the gospels, Gospel of John, I would recommend. And, and just start at the end of Jesus' life, his final week on, on earth. And just start reading it. And look at this guy. Okay, and, and look at how you can relate to him. And look at how he is everything but what was expected by the Israelites. And why they rejected him. And why they would choose to free Barabbas, a criminal, over Jesus. And it's because Jesus was everything opposite from what Israel wanted in a king. And the, how that connects back to Judges is simply this. Is that from the time of Judges, Israel always wanted a king. And God gave them a deliverer. Remember we talked about that last week. Israel forever wanted a king. They wanted to be like the world. They wanted to say, hey, look at that powerful nation. You know why they're so powerful? Because they have chariots. They got iron chariots, and they got that crazy king, and they have that huge military, and they have, you know, all, this, all these crops and livestock, and they have a really fat king, and that's why they are good in this world. That's why they're successful, because they have all that. And Israel's like, we want our version of that. And God is sitting in heaven, and like I've been joking around, you know, Yahweh's up there like, oh, no way. You have no idea. You know, is that Israel has God. God is supernatural. Those are natural things. God can just do crazy things. They have God. And so God, even when God raises up leaders for them, God says, I'm going to give you a leader, and they're called priests. What? It's not a king, a priest? Why? Because what was Israel's leader supposed to do? It's supposed to bring them in relationship between them and God. And that's what a priest does. A priest mediates between, hey, Israel, remember your king. Remember your God. Israel's like, we want different types of leaders. I'm going to give you prophets. What? That's not a warrior, a prophet? Why? Because a prophet speaks the word of God, right? What's the role of a prophet? To communicate the word of God to his people so the people would be led well and served well. And when they want a king, when God says, finally, I'll give you one, and they chose Saul, and God says, wrong choice. And God's chosen king, like I mentioned a couple weeks ago, is a shepherd. Someone to shepherd them. And that shepherd boy became King David. Right? And even what you see throughout Judges is that every single time God is saying to Israel, you think you need a king. And I know what you need best. You need a deliverer. And one day I'm going to give you a deliverer that you will reject too. But that deliverer is going to save so many people. And that deliverer's name is Jesus Christ. 